Station and Melissa and people take flight. People take flight. Man, them a gather and them eyes full up of fire. The center, the gunpowder rising higher and higher. Some of them a gangster, some of them a rebel. Words full of venom, heart them full of trouble. What's up, RC Car Addict? We're back and we have the Gamma N1E reveal. I've been working on this for a couple weeks. Finally got everything exactly how I want it. And had a little bit of time tonight to do a video. Um, I was looking through my YouTube analytics and only like 85% of the people who watch my videos are subscribed. So if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get into it. This is a Gamma N1E. Um, I'm sponsored by Lead Finger Racing. So I have the new Lead Finger, Lead Finger Racing body. Um, it was painted by Evan Vale from Prevail Paints. Um, we got some stickers on here. All my sponsors, JT, Sanwa, Lead Finger Racing, Dowd RC, Race Ready Products, and Fame Wolf Racing. Um, I think this thing came out pretty awesome. Um, I got the lead finger racing front uh, nose on here, the nose wing. Um, let's see, I got the 454 Carbon Works, um, or RC Works wing uh, bar on here. Um, we got one up racing carbon fiber body, uh, the body, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> the body uh, post protectors. I was using like a piece of uh, Lexan and cutting it out in a circle and they fall off or you lose them and stuff pretty easy. So these actually have uh, sticky tape on the back and you stick them onto the body and they stay put. So they're pretty nice. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get this body off and check it out, y'all. So we got the, let's see, we'll start with the batteries. These are the uh, DXF 6300 Gold Edition. Um, these just came out this year. They're graphene, but they have some newer technology to uh, basically, I guess, give them higher discharge or more consistent discharge. and some stuff like that. I was reading about them. Uh, they're pretty nice. It took them about a month to get here. Um, I ordered them and they came directly from Spain. So I got two sets of those. I went with uh, green wire um, just because it matches the pills and I thought it looked cool. Definitely matches the body. So I want to do something different. Usually my builds are just all black wire, which looks really clean, but um, I think this came out pretty sweet. It took me a while to figure out the way I wanted to route all my wires. A jumper. I've never ran saddle packs before, so this was new. We got the uh, short course truck speed control. Send it 626 servo. A ProTech RC um, servo horn. Aluminum servo horn. 25 tooth. Uh, let's see some other stuff that we got on here. On the rear, I got the 454 uh, RC Works 
these little tie bars or ears, carbon ears, that uh, tie this post to the rear uh, wing mount. Gives it a little bit more structural integrity here. If you get a hit or something from the side, hopefully it'll keep from bending that screw. Um, let's see, I got the Gamma N1 uh, special pistons. I put in my shocks. They are the 20 hole pistons from uh, Vision Racing uh, products. Uh, let's see, uh, 454 also hooked me up with some um, arm inserts. I got the plastic inserts in the front and the carbon ones in the rear. He is uh, working on getting me a full set of carbon for the top and the bottom. Right now I don't have any in the bottom as you can see but uh, I'm gonna do some testing with those and you know see which ones I like best. But uh, I really like the plastic ones. They look good too. There's a lot of carbon on this car. Um, there's even the side here through the the mount, or I'm sorry, the, the brace is all carbon on the sides. Um, I made a little piece of plastic here with a piece of a zip tie and screwed it into two holes to hold my wire to make sure that didn't come out. And I used some double-sided tape, double-sided tape to this down on, uh, on off switch. We have a phantom uh, fan. I thought it was really cool when I was looking through the parts that this motor mount has a fan uh, mount built into it. So I routed all my wires around here for a clean look. And I really like how the car has this uh, wire holder that comes you know, built into it. Um, let's see. The build went really well. Um, the manual is not so great. I would say this is for uh, someone that's built previous kits. Um, it was kind of hard to follow in certain spots, but if you look ahead in the manual and kind of, uh, like I said, if you've had some experience building uh, kits then you won't have too much of a problem. I got the emulsion caps, but these are the stock caps. I built them as close as I possibly could to dead. Thank you, Will MacGyver for uh, giving me some tips on how to build these shots as close to dead as possible. And uh, he's been a good help to me. Um, some other guys on Fame Wolf Racing that run the Gama have helped me with this build too. And it's been awesome. Overall though, the, I mean the parts fit and finish is pretty sweet. It came out really nice and I'm ready to get it on the track.